welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are fine. So today I'm going to be talking about the starter makeup kit for beginners. If you're a girl who wants to start your makeup, like you were loving makeup of lately but you don't know how to do your makeup and you want some idea, then this video is just for you. I'm going to be talking about some basic things about makeup, what sort of product you will need, what sort of things you will have to have on your goodie bag. So I'm just gonna talk about that for the next five to 10 minutes. So if you wanna know more, then please keep on watching. So without further ado, let's get started. So that's how my goodie bag looks like. And here, my, here inside my goodie bag. So, so <clears throat> the first and the foremost things that I have in my goodie bag is a good moisturizer. Before applying any sort of makeup, you always uh, uh, like remember one thing that you apply moisturizer, your face is hydrated. Because when your face is hydrated, your face is clean, you look good with or without makeup. You should use your favorite moisturizer that goes for your skin. There is a lot of uh, stigma going on uh, that you don't need a good, good moisturizer before applying any sort of makeup. This is damn wrong. You always need a good moisturizer. If you're a school girl who go to school, then I only would recommend a good moisturizer for your skin. You got to have a good moisturizer because you have to make sure that your face is hydrated and when your face is hydrated, you will always feel that your skin is healthy, so you are ready for wearing any sort of makeup. So, a good moisturizer is must. The next thing that you will be needing this is a um, lip balm. So you will always need a good lip balm. If you don't want to go for lipstick or lip gloss, this is like in between the lip gloss and lipstick. So your your, your lips will not feel chappy because. I hate a chap lips. If you have a good lip balm, you can carry this on your beauty bag. You can carry this even on your school bag or college bag. If you want to add a little bit of color, like a very smooth, mild color, peachy pink color, or any sort of color on your lips, then you can definitely go with a lip balm. I would definitely recommend that. As I said, this is in between the lip gloss and the lipstick, so you always can go with lip balm. So the next thing that I have in my hand is lip gloss. This is from actually Naked, but um, as well, that, that doesn't mean that you have to have the naked lip balm or lip, lip gloss with you guys. This is like not recommended. You can always use your favorite lip gloss. If you want to add some pop of color on your lips, you can. You want to go with, you want to play a little bit, like not more than lipstick, but you want to play more more than um, lip balm, then you always can go with a lip gloss. I always like, used to apply lip gloss when I used to go for party or a girls day out I always used to like love that so the next thing that you will be needing is a concealer if you have dark circle uh, redness or blemishes a little bit which you want to conceal then you will always need a concealer but if you ha don't have any dark circle under your eye then you always can skip the concealer so now I have like two options for you guys I have one stick concealer which is um, and wise liquid concealer so I have like two concealer one so now if you have like a uh, dry skin, like that dry to normal skin, then you can always use any sort of concealer you want to use. But you can go always uh, with a liquid concealer if you have dry skin. But there is a big no no if you have like a welly skin, don't go with any sort of um, liquid concealer. If you have like welly skin type, then I would def definitely recommend any sort of stick concealer or like matte concealer for you so now like if you're new to makeup you don't need a color correct like you don't need a color correct so <clears throat> just start your makeup uh, you will bad like you i was horrible at makeup like yes if you saw my old video of lately you will know that i was horrible in makeup now i'm still learning i know that i'm like not a professional makeup artist so i would definitely not recommend any sort of color correcting now come to the foundation part so now here is one thing i would always say that invest in your foundation um, if you have a good skin you don't have pimple on your face like you don't have hyperpigmentation on your face your skin is good pigmented then you don't need to go for those sort of hd foundation bb cream is just enough for you so now i have mm, some option for you i have some bb cream uh, which i have with me and again don't worry recommend any brand bb cream is a cream sort of thing so you don't need to have a lot of bb cream on your face you can just go like 
a ball shape in your face and then you just have to blend this like well so but if you're a girl who have like acne and scar don't be a sad girl because i have been through this problem and i used to have lots of things on my face now i'm completely fine because i take care of my skin so yeah uh, if you want to go with a foundation like you need to have a extra coverage so just don't worry you can wear foundation like good foundation so now selecting a good foundation for your face or skin type or like uh, matching your skin color is really important and now if you have a um, good skin type then you can go with a mineral foundation too like you can go with a mousse or like cc cream you, it's some very that will not gonna feel heavy on your face so if you're like a starter uh, <clears throat> then these things are good for you and always go with those things which you can carry with you don't go with those things which you can't carry and you this will feel squishy sort of thing in your face don't go with those sort of things wear makeup which you can carry don't do a lot of heavy makeup which you can't carry you feel suffocated and stuff like don't do this just feel free feel soft feel unweighty then wear your makeup enjoy your makeup enjoy wearing your makeup so now if you have like a big big pores then i would definitely not recommend any sort of mineral foundation for you and now come up to the skin type if you have dry skin type then you always can go with a liquid foundation but when we apply liquid foundation we have to make sure that we apply good powder you, if you have like valley skin, I know pimple come up like really easily. I have lots of skincare uh, video on my channel. You can like go onto my channel and see if you want. I would link some skincare routine on my description bar. You can go and check out those. If you have like big pores, then I would recommend you to go with a primer. If you apply primer, your pores will become matte. And then if you apply the foundation after applying a primer, then that would be a great choice for you so now where there comes a question about the foundation the compressed powder press powder like flesh tone powder is with that like i can't skip that from but you have to have a, a good mild sort of compressed powder on your face which go with your foundation or bb cream or if you're not applying anything this should be gone with your face always remember don't overdo it with your compressed powder face powder don't overdo it because this is gonna crease or this is gonna make your face more cakey actually for a school girl you don't even need any sort of foundation or bb cream you got to have a little bit of face powder on your face then you are just good to go for the day now my face is done now come up to my eye so now i yes i love i love being my eye anyways so for the eye the most important thing that i love for my eye is a mascara you always need a mascara if you're a little girl if you're a big girl if you're a starter if you're a beginner whatever you are you always need a mascara um now basic thing if you are not doing anything in your eye like you are not going for any liner wing liner or cat liner whatever you are not going in liner then you you want a very natural sort of look then you can always go with a mascara I'm actually just make a big difference in your eye when you have a voluminous lash you will definitely good more sort of innocent good now if you have thin lashes then you can go with a curler eyelash curler then if you curl your eye simply and then you apply the mascara this does make a good um, difference on your eye you will understand that go in front of your mirror and then do it you will understand that and the next thing you will be needing is a mascara i have two options one is like liquidy and another is a pencil now if you're a beginner then i would definitely recommend you to go with a pencil one because this is more easy when you apply this on your eye this would not ruin your like shape of your liner whatever usually when i was a beginner i was like learning makeup at the time my hand used to like vibrate like that i used to apply liquid mascara liquid eyeliner and my hand used to vibrate like that this ruined my full makeup so now come up to the eyeshadow again i have two options for you one is like soft tone or cool tone and another is like hot tone or warm undertone colors so if you're a beginner i would definitely recommend you to go with a cool undertone color which is really mild which is really soft which will look good on your eye you can always go with some mild color that suits your undertone like you can apply slightly on your eye and you can always use your fingers you can slightly apply this on your eye but again for those girls who want to go a little bit more 
like rather than that then i have another choice for you this is the love and eyeshadow palette which is have some shimmery base color i'm a shimmer girl i love shimmer thing uh, I, I know there are lots of shimmer girl out there who love shimmer thing so uh, you always can go with a lots of uh, shimmery base color so then um if you have a hand over makeup like after some time you will have a hand of like artistic hand then you can go with those colors like now come to the blush part blush is my bay and if you're a starter like a beginner then you always can go with a blush or you can go with a bronzer too if you're a bronzer baby you can go with a bronzer if you're a blush baby you can go with a blush and i would not recommend any sort of contour for you because you are a star, like a beginner i it's, it's a bit tough to apply contour like you have to have that hand to apply contour and if you want to go with a blush i would always recommend a peachy pink color for you because a peachy pink will always go with any sort of skin tone so now come up to the brush part which most of the girls find lots of difficulties like they don't know how to uh, use a uh, like brush in which part and which brush do which work they don't know and you don't need to know trust me for a starter for a beginner you don't need to have the full excess of all the brush that are available in the drugstore you got to have some basic brush you always can have your fingers your finger are your best friend so you always can use your fingertips to like apply your makeup i used to do that when you just have to have a maybe a foundation brush or a bb cream brush that you can just slightly uh, apply on your face you can have that otherwise you know you just do this and then pair up your foundation with your fingers your hand you were just good to go for the day and the next thing next brush you can have a powder brush you just apply slightly the compressed powder flesh tone powder on your face and have that otherwise uh, all the pressed powder have their own sponge you can use that all right the next brush i have is a blush brush now this is a this is a brush that you should have like if you want to apply a bit of blush or bronzer you should have a blush brush next brush that i have is a eyeshadow like a fluffy brush you can slightly like blend all your eyeshadow next um, you can have an eyeliner brush i can have this is totally optional you can apply with the eyeliner applicator otherwise you can have that this is totally optional and the last brush this is totally optional you can have an angle brush because angle brush does a lot of things so these all are the things that contain in my goodie bag that don't need to have lots of things if you're beginners you are wearing makeup you, you makeup wow you are wearing makeup to feel good to feel confident if you're doing worse makeup it's okay we can have a competition yes just kidding anyways so yeah you always can play with your makeup you always can make your own trend so yeah with that i finished my video i hope that you enjoyed if you guys have any question feel free to ask me you can mail me give me a message i try to reply all the mail all the messages that i get so no more talk i'll be back in my next video till then please take care of yourself stay funky stay healthy and makeup bye bye love you guys